my channel. Today we are going to be doing a review and unboxing of a 125th scale die cast metal GMC Savannah 2500 van. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box here. As you can see you got the window in to take a look at it. Got different pictures of different variations of the GMC Savannah vans um, around the box. Uh, on the back, you see the different um, functions and options available for the GMC Savannah van. And there's uh, another GMC Savannah van being put to use there. As we see here on the bottom, we can see this uh, die cast promotions. By FF Ertel. And so all the copywriting, so the copyright for Ertel's 2003 and The General Motors copyright is 2002, so I believe this die cast um, is an older one, uh, which I won this one at a car show a couple weeks ago. Um, it was part of like a door prize raffle. So there you go, it's just a very simple, clean box that has lots of different uh, shots of the van being put to different use in the different industries whether it's a passenger van or a van used by a tradesman um, with different tools and then uh, on the back there you got the different options and features of the gmc savannah so let's go ahead and get this uh unboxed and take a look at it okay so we've got this unboxed let's go ahead and take a look at it here um first item i would like to look at is it came with this little tool um it's got this like little flat spatula end with a little bit of a point to it there and then on the other end it's like a little pick um, I'm not too sure what this is for um, other than this end does a great job getting the doors open just being able to put them in there instead of trying to pry in them with my fingernails or anything like that scratching it up this just makes it real easy just put it in there and it pops them right open so let's go ahead and take a look at the actual die cast itself here as we go around, you can see it's got nice construction here with detailed wheels. The Uniroyal Laredo tires on it with the GMC rims. Got the GMC 2500 badging on the sides. Now then, these side doors open, these ones do not. There's a pretty detailed front end on here. You can see the headlights are pretty detailed along with the turn signal lights. You got the GMC badging on the grill. Um, the, you got the windshield wipers up there on the cowl. The passenger side of the vehicle is practically identical to the driver's side of the vehicle. Just, my, just missing the gas cap that's on the driver's side. Um, so you got the 2500 badging there with the GMC on the passenger door. With these doors open and these ones do not. As we come around the back of the vehicle here, you got the Savannah all-wheel drive emblems. With the GMC emblem there, these doors open. So you got the tail lights with the brake light at the top there. There's the gas cap right there that makes the sides of the vehicle not 100% identical, but they pretty much are. Let's go ahead and take a look at the underside here. So this does have positionable wheels on it. Um, so you got those, they are a little bit stiff and clunky, but you know, they do the job if you're just having it display it on a shelf. Now this is actually a pretty detailed 
underside um, compared to a lot of other ones that I have seen. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, 2003 Chevrolet Express and GMC Savannah. Uh, used under license. This is a detailed undercarriage here. So you got the exhaust pipe running with the muffler out there. A spare tire, the rear axle differential, drive shaft, uh, fuel tank with the transfer case. Uh, because as it said, this is an all wheel drive vehicle. You got the control arms there for up at the front. You got the bell housing there for the engine transmission. So this is pretty detailed compared to other ones that I have seen. So I'm very happy with this. This is a very well-built uh, die cast. Everything on this is very sturdy. Let's go ahead and open the doors and take a look here at the inside. See the tool coming in handy here. Just pops the doors right open nice and easy. So take a look inside there. It's just an empty cargo van as you would see for being used in the trades or like hauling materials. Kind of zoom in there, kind of take a look at the gauge cluster with the steering wheel and the shifter. There is a rear view mirror up in there. It's just open cargo area there with the wheel wells. Again, very nicely detailed. All the doors on this vehicle are very sturdy on their hinges. They're not too stiff, not too loose. They're honestly just right. This is very attention to detail on this one. So there you go. Those are all the doors that are able to open. Take a look up into the front cab there. there you can kind of see you got the center gauge stack there with all your, your like the radio and the heat control would be. Then you got the center console there, which would have cup holders and like a utility tray. So, for closing the doors on the van here, uh, the side doors, you can close them in whatever order. It does not matter. They just close. Versus the one on the rear, you have to close that door first and then close this door for it to close properly. All right, so there we have it, the GMC Savannah van um, review and unboxing. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Thanks.